everybody for being here today. Uh, we're going to talk about how to create your own Wheel of Life. What is the objective of the Wheel of Life? It's getting a snapshot of where you are in your life. The most important areas, eight, so by doing the circle and then divide it into eight triangles, you select what are the key areas for you, eight of them. Today I selected your own personal, love, family, work, friends, health, finances and hobbies. And what we do is we look at how satisfied we are in each area. Zero being very unsatisfied, <laughs> ten being you are very satisfied. And by putting a number in each area, you start getting a very good idea of where you are. Like let's start, for example, with hobbies. I don't know, I practice maybe different hobbies, I trained twice a week, I'm very happy. Maybe let's put up eight. So what we do then is we look at Okay, an A would be around here. And what I start doing is coloring. Okay, so maybe the A to go all the way up to there. Finances, what is my situation at the moment? Well, I've been a bit bad the last few weeks. I've been spending a lot of, oh, let's say I'm gonna seven. Okay? Yeah. So let's go for a seven, and I come down here. Then I look at my health. Well, actually, this year, I've been very good with my sleep, eating habits, and also how I look after my mental health. I'm gonna say an eight as well. So I'm coming here. So do you see how we are starting to get a good idea on all the different areas? Mm -hmm. The friends, are you satisfied? How satisfied you are with the group of friends? How connected you are with them? How often are you meeting them? Could maybe meet them a bit more often. I don't see the girls as often as I used to. Let's go for a six. So I go around here. The same with work, my career. Am I where I want to be? Do I want to pursue a different career or I'm happy where I am? The moment, very happy. Let's go for an eight as well. Family. How connected you are with your family. How satisfied with that relationship? Let's go for an A. Again, they could change. And where you are today might be very different from where you are next week. The love life. The people in your life doesn't have to be only your partner. It could be with your kids. It could be with uh, the people that you are connected with. Okay? You say a seven. Can we get better? And then with yourself. How well do you know? how happy you are with the personal work that you have done the last few months. Okay, I go with an eight. So you start seeing now the areas where you can be very strong and the areas where maybe you're like, oh, I could work a bit more. For example, my friends here, I'm at a six, but actually I would like to get to an eight or a nine. What would that mean to you? If you were at an eight or a nine, what would that give you? Maybe to feel more connected, maybe to start doing things that you used to do a lot and because life got on the way and you got really busy, all of a sudden you stop seeing them as often or bringing them. Okay, so now we can look at setting up a plan and seeing, I'm at a six, I would like to get to an eight. What does an eight mean to you? What is important for you in that case? Is it maybe meeting them once a month instead of once every six months? Okay, so what can you do? You know, oh, I'm organizing. I know, next week. <laughs> okay, that could be it. But the good thing of the Wheel of Life is giving you a good snapshot of where you are, what areas, and where you want to improve. And maybe some areas you are okay with where you are, but other areas you're like, actually, no, I'm a bit less or a bit more, and it will give me a lot more fulfillment as well as connection with the people around.